Ah, gender. It's a topic that can sometimes make us feel like we're stuck in the stone age, with rigid ideas about what's masculine and feminine. But what if we told you that the animal kingdom has been flipping the script on gender roles for ages? That's right, friends. Today we're diving deep into the world of gender-bending animals. Some of them you may already know about, but some of them are likely to surprise you. From sneaky cuttlefish to cross-dressing monkeys, these creatures are breaking down the binary and challenging our assumptions about gender. Let's talk about the giant Australian cuttlefish. These masters of disguise are known for their incredible camouflaging abilities, but did you know that they also change color and texture to attract mates? And get this, male cuttlefish sometimes take on female traits to get closer to their desired mate. Talk about commitment to the cause. Usually male cuttlefish outnumber females 11 to 1. So, if you're a male cuttlefish, your competition to find a mate is stiff. But there's one advantageous tool at your disposal, like other cephalopods, such as squids and octopi, cuttlefish can camouflage. That's why some smaller males within the species will camouflage into the muted brown tones of their female counterparts while swimming through male-dominated areas. Their camouflage protects them from being attacked by other males, while giving them easier access to a female cuttlefish. The Black Hamlet, a species of fish that can change its gender multiple times throughout its life. These fish begin their lives as females, but as they grow larger and mature, some will transition into males. This allows the species to adapt to changes in their environment and ensure that there are enough males to fertilize the eggs. Next up, we have the clownfish, a species that is famous for its unique symbiotic relationship with anemones. But did you know that these fish also display gender-bending behavior? In a clownfish colony, the dominant fish is always a female. If the female dies, the largest male will undergo a sex change and become the new dominant female. Clownfish live within a strict hierarchy, where each school is headed by a female and seconded by a submissive male with whom she mates. Other fish in the school are all male, which doesn't pose too much of a threat since clownfish are born hermaphrodites, though eventually become all male. When the dominant female dies, her mate takes her place and changes his sex to female. The hierarchy is also maintained within the school through body mass. The female is the largest of the school, followed by her second and so on. Once the second takes the deceased female's role, he expands to her size. The other fish in the school also grow according to their new hierarchical positions. Quote. Moving on to the reptile world, we have the Australian bearded dragon. These lizards have a unique way of displaying dominance, by changing their color and shedding their skin. Males will often display brighter colors and shed their skin more frequently than females, in order to attract mates and establish dominance. Another fascinating example of gender-bending animals is the red-sided garter snake. Some populations of this species are all female, and they are able to reproduce through a process called parthenogenesis, essentially, they are able to clone themselves. This allows them to populate new areas without the need for males. Some male garter snakes emit female pheromones to bait other male garter snakes away from a nearby female. 
In the presence of a single female, several males will swarm and envelop the female until one male succeeds in copulation. To increase their own odds at mating with the female, some garter snakes will give off female pheromones, allow a swarm of fooled males to come towards him, and then sneak away to mate with the available female. Now let's take a look at the mass harrier, a bird of prey that displays unique gender roles within its family structure. Female mass harriers are larger and more aggressive than males, and they are responsible for hunting and providing food for their young. Meanwhile, males take on the role of protecting the nest and caring for the chicks. While the majority of male mass harriers are covered in a grey down of feather and have yellow eyes, 40% of these males resemble their female counterparts. Females have brown feathers, white eyes, and are much larger than male birds. These gender-bending males adopt a female-like down, with a change occurring in the second year of their life. Their eyes and small bills stay the same, however. But friends, why male harrier do so? Scientists believe, these males, assume a female appearance, to prevent them, from being attacked by other males. Now, let's talk about the red and olive colobus monkey. These primates are known for their colorful fur and social hierarchies, but they also have a unique reproductive system. Females will often mate with multiple males, and the males will take turns caring for the infants. This ensures that all of the males in the group have a chance to father offspring. When a male colobus monkey comes of age, they are shooed away from their pod to seek other single males with whom to form a coalition. But olive and red colobus use a peculiar evolutionary trait to hold off that rude departure. Just as they reach puberty, the area around their anus swells, mimicking that of a female colobus in heat. Though this doesn't confuse other males within their own and related species, it does stop them from being kicked out of their pod. This swelling stops for the olive colobus once they reach adulthood, while the red colobus retain this feature for life. Up next, we have the spotted hyena. This iconic animal is often associated with female dominance and aggression, but did you know that hyenas also display gender-bending behavior? Both female and male hyenas have testes and a penis. And for both sexes, the penis goes erect around female hyena. For males, the erection is a function of arousal. For females, it's due to familiarity and safety. In actual fact, the female, penis, is actually an elongated clitoris, so large that in biology it is referred to as a pseudopenis. Female hyenas urinate, mate, and even give birth through the appendage. When it comes to having intercourse, females roll up their clitoris to give permitted males access to their vagina, which is internal. Even though the female penis isn't a true sex organ, it's longer than the male one. This allows them to assert dominance and even engage in pseudo-copulation, which helps establish social bonds within the group. Last but certainly not least, we have the lion. While many of us may associate lions with male dominance, lionesses actually do most of the hunting and provide for their pride. They are also the primary caregivers for their cubs. And just like with the spotted hyena, female lions also display gender-bending behavior, with some even growing manies and displaying male-like behaviors. Earlier in 2016, new scientists reported five lionesses at the Moremi Game Reserve in Botswana had grown manies and adopted male-like behaviors. One has even been observed to roar and mount other females, just as a male lion would. It's difficult to determine what exactly would cause these lionesses to change to a masculine appearance, but researchers think it's due to increased levels of testosterone, possibly due to a genetic quirk.
So there you have it, friends. A look into the fascinating world of gender-bending animals. From sneaky cuttlefish to cross-dressing monkeys, these creatures are breaking down traditional gender roles and reminding us that there's more to gender than meets the eye. From fish to birds to mammals, these animals are challenging our assumptions about gender and reminding us that nature is full of surprises. Who knows what other gender-bending behaviors and characteristics we have yet to discover? And that concludes our showcase of the today's topic. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share this video with your friends, family, and relatives so that they too can enjoy videos on wild animals. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.